We have this beautiful uh, green school concept. The hammer sign, like you see, it's uh, to showing uh, how this program been running here. It's like a creative program, which helped the uh, production also because it's like uh, training people to like being like self uh, dependent on creating sustainable s stuff. And like before, that was like a temporary school, but now it's like a semi-permanent school in this uh, area. So it served the people living in the camp here. Children. What are these buildings? They're it's classroom. a classroom, classroom, yeah. Classroom. And here is one of the compost manager. It's yeah, uh, he's one of the heroes. And <laughs> he's the hero here, Mr. Maxo. We have two heroes here. And this is Maxim. <laughs> they learn oh, about the system. <laughs> oh. Sorry? What is, it's Maxo. Max, 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 So they are compost manager. They get training and uh, they learn about the system. Now they are able to do everything. And they see it's easy. They are uh, doing composting and uh, they are also taking care of the garden. They do everything here just because they love what they're doing and they say it's sustainable stuff. So right there is uh, Shalicia. It's uh, the cleaner. She's cleaning the toilet and uh, make sure there is uh, enough uh, carbon material in the little container inside. And uh, help also little child who's not able to like uh, do the system themselves to do everything. So this is one bath, one toilet system. Like you see, there is a uh, instruction for user you know how to use the toilet properly. And here's the bucket. With a dry organic Salut, Madame. Come here. carbon uh, material, and here's the toilet. Under that is a uh, 15 gallon collecting all the feces. And each time you use it, so you know what to do. I'm Just take a little bit of it and make sure you cover everything. And like you see, no smell, no flies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the problem, what they have in this side. Stinks like hell. <coughs> yeah. Let's make people afraid to go. Let's see this one, the child just came out. Well, so that is the one the child just used. So here is like a, it's a 15 gallon container which collecting all the deposit made by people and then when that is full they just uh, handle it it's so easy to do that and uh, they uh, open <coughs> the pile uh, and uh, adding the new fresh material and, and for after that, that they just cover it with dry carbon material and like you see no smell no flies no flies yeah. no maggots nothing. and also yeah. to add <laughs> like this all the collection do in that uh, thing I want drew urine feces and also the because, uh, the papers we just now, collect all water, together and dump it here there is but no urine no, diversion what about how many answer? people are using here these? it's 1500 uh, children and using the toilet and each uh, three days they like emptying like uh, eight container okay 
And then how long does it take to fill one of these? Three months uh, to fill uh, one of those. About three months? Yeah. And that's approximately mm -hmm. uh, 1.5 meters by two, two meters? Yeah, yeah. It's and you really don't smell anything here. I don't smell yeah, because anything. It's there's you no don't smell anything. There's nothing unpleasant about it. It's clean. You guys so are doing clean. a great job. You can job. see, you see? No, I just sit there, you see? I put my hand over here. It's yeah. fine. As it's you can see here, that one's keep yeah, this uh, one's shrinking down because you're, down. Down. What? you're letting it age. <laughs> this one you're still filling. Can you stick a thermometer in that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, want I want to know. Can you explain it? Yeah, one more. 36 inch rheostat, uh, Rio temp thermometer. It's just randomly sticking it into the pile. <laughs> These bins you're sitting on have toilet material from how many people? For 1,500. 1,500 school yeah. students. And uh, all the urine, feces, Toilet paper and all the food scraps from the school are put into these bins. And you're filling one of these bins about every three months. Yeah. And tell me uh, what you're smelling right now. I can say it's pure air. Pure air, yeah. No pollution. There's no, there's no, no you, nobody, you nobody would know. Nobody would know that that's exactly. Yeah. That's th three compost. months that worth of, of shit As you right can see, there. We are just sitting. Next to it. You're sitting next to on it. it. <laughs> you can roll around on that naked. <laughs> uh, I will do it next time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Je vais essayer de voir qui ça que je capable de faire pendant que je commence, je vais faire un petit pacte qui commence tout petit après ça, je vais venir à tel et puis qui ça que nous avons fait et qui organisation lui-même qui occupe les gens de travail. Alors c'est l'organisation du blog qui est fondée par Patricia Arquette. Moi, je ne sais pas, mais je est comme si la toilette composte, qui est plus hygiénique comparativement à la toilette sans confort moderne que nous les toilettes hygiéniques. Est-ce que la toilette composte est plus hygiénique que la toilette sans a utilisé Quelle est la question que vous répétez C'est entre les toilettes que nous utilisons le plus souvent et les toilettes toilettes. Elle veut savoir laquelle est plus hygiénique. In Haiti, there is no current capacity to treat sewage waste, whether it's from a flush toilet or a pit latrine. So I would say that a compost toilet is by definition more hygienic. Because we're dumping, you understand? Yes. In California, you could claim a flush toilet is hygienic. Except until you go swimming. If, until you go swimming, and where I live in a beach town, there's contamination but I but at the level of in Haiti this is much a much cleaner we want to call it a toilette santé not just the ecological because it is a healthy toilet. most of the poor people in the world not just Haiti suffer from horrible diseases because of no sanitation and no health infrastructure no doctors no medicine and they don't have toilets. And there's not enough clean water in the world to provide flush toilets for people, and people still need toilets. Water is going to be like gold and oil in our lifetime. So this is the future.